Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading for the period as we expand on the July f energies for the period beginning the 1st to the 15th of July. Oh, thanks Spirit. Because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you. So you might want to look at the forecast for your moon rising in Venus. If you don't know what those are, guess what? Link in the description so you can calculate yours. Take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. Okay, now, if this does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, want to claim the reading, or just say, hey, throw a comment below the video. This is an intuitive channeled reading with my gaggle of spirits, so there may be some homework. If someone, one of your spirits comes out for this specific message, I will point that out. Okay, so we have some foundational cards here, so let's get started with those, and then we'll get into the rest of the reading. All right, so the first card, oh, by the way, thanks again for your likes and subscribes so that support the channel, really appreciate that. All right, so we're first starting out with the Patience card in this deck, and this is about a reminder from Spirit that Patience will bring you into recognition and alignment to your purpose. Okay, that all your needs are met, even though you may not see it yet on the outer visible world, that the angels are looking out for you, and moderation and patience is required right now. Now, interestingly enough, we have the two of fire next to that. And look at this guy, he's on top of the giraffe with the light. Okay, this is about planning for the future, mapping your progress, trusting in the unknown, and Allowing spirit to help you drive the car, all right? So, you know, the, the ask spirit, it's about asking spirit the best way to you to visualize the dreams that you want to co-create. And then you got the six of fire, which is also fascinating with this read, because this is about stepping into the limelight and being that influencer. So, you know, you have patience, but you're also providing guidance to others. You are the, the teacher, the influencer, the, the, um, the guardian, you know, sharing your knowledge with others that may be a little bit um, apprehensive, living in maybe some Earth A emotions. So really good foundational cards for you. Now, I have already pre-shuffled this smallest deck in the world, but let's give it another quick shuffle. So we ask spirit for some guidance here on which of the piles I'm going to pick. And so let us do that right now. Okay. Um, let's pick that one. Whoops. Okay. All right. So we have the two of coins here. You know, and this is about... It's about juggling things, you know. Maybe some of you are juggling money. Uh, I get for a lot of you that you're juggling a lot, that you've got a lot, so much on your plate, and you're just, you know, keep you keep the balls in the air right now. You know, there's a lot going on. And there's some kind of... Okay, so I'm getting that you have some kind of decision to make, something that's giving you some agita, some anxiety, you're waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and um, you immediately wake up, and instead of going, oh, how delicious, you're, you've got a little bit of angst. And what I'm getting here for part of this, the judgment card, and, and you know, you do know that it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks. It only matters what you think. But I see a lot of self-judgment. You know, I see you, you know, um, don't beat yourself. So Spirit is saying, hey, don't beat yourself up. Because this is really a time where you are uh, expanding, assessing that the relationships in your life. And we're not, you know, love relationship, family dynamics, family relationships. So you're doing some assessing here, you know, and you're seeing what's working, what's not working. And you are making that plan to structure that in a different way you know you're also looking at past relationships 
of all aspects to determine if they're worthwhile, uh, partnerships that you may have in business or a love relationship, excuse me, a uh, work relationship, and you're actually doing a lot of assessing there. You also, I'm getting that there'll be some kind of acknowledgement for some of your accomplishments. Uh, you're getting that pat on the back that you deserve. You know, even if it's just, you know, someone saying, hey, I admire you. You know, it, it may not be work related, but um, I do see, oh, I see some successes here in the financial improving as well. For some of you, I'm getting some specific spirits coming in for that. And you're making some decisions here and you're moving forward. And you're moving forward like gangbusters. I mean, you're taking no prisoners, you know. You're, you're, I also see some travel in the near future for you guys. I see you breaking out, you know, and venturing out. I see, um, you, I see love relationships progressing to a point where you have to make that decision. Do I stay or do I go? I see progress in, uh, in business. I see an opportunity coming your way for um, I, some kind of creative project or you're starting a creative project or really getting into a creative project and moving to that next level in the beginning of July. Okay, and you've got the Ace of Pentacles. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, this is the marriage of the material and the spiritual. This is the coin, baby, the Kwan. You know, there's the door. It's up to you whether you want to walk through it. And if you walk through it, you're not going to be disappointed. Don't look at the gift horse and about. Don't wait for the other shoe to drop. Just don't doubt that you might have some good fortune here. Don't discount it. Money finds its way to you. Um... Uh, there's some kind of happiness uh, joined with prosperity here if for the taking. Okay, what else we got in the bottom of the deck? Oh, wow. So then we also have the Ace of Swords. First of all, you're cutting through the BS. You see things more clearly. You have immediate positive change because you're actually taking the power. You have the power, baby, to open up... Um, this, the, you know, you can, you can open up anything with a sword, can't you? You know, but this is about that victory, that new beginning, the new you. But it's definitely an immediate positive change. The beginning of July, especially after June, was um, maybe not so great for you. And you're moving forward and taking no prisoners. Good for you. All right, kids. That is all I have. Thanks again for your support of the channel by liking and clicking that little button down there. Really appreciate it. Uh, your likes, your comments, I can answer them still all right now. That's, that's great. I will. And uh, have a great beginning of July, and we'll, we'll see you soon, kids. Bye.